Hello guys and girls, boom, welcome back. Are you up for a £250.50p coin hunt? Yeah! We have a Voltex bag. Ooh. My fave. My fave. Absolutely yum, yum. Okay, stop the rattling. Now then. Uh, oh, we've got the mat on the skew. Where's the uh, album? We need Kew Gardens. Never found a Kew Gardens, no. The 2018 Rub It With The Radish. And the We Need Flopsy Bunny, which is uh, two coins that I've never been stuck on before. But we also need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven of the Olympics. We've got some 2017 shields which are in good condition and oh it's a 2020 sorry that's a 2017 a 2020 and that's in case I do a date run some territory coins that we found there we are oh I don't know what number hunt this is because I haven't been keeping a score <laughs> I've just been enjoying the hunts you know so we've got the eyeglass just in case we've got some Christmas lights yeah we're getting in Christmas spirit yeah Perhaps I should have a glass or something. Mmm. Okay. What would be your glass of something choice? Mmm. I wonder. Yay. We don't drink very much at all. About, I don't know. Every now and then I just say to Mr. T, you know what, I could, um, I could do with a whiskey and lemonade and i have a whiskey shandy i call it i know it's criminal but uh i need the lemonade to sort it out you know to sweeten it up a little bit um although uh, i drink a average quality whiskey and um oh wow last christmas my brother bought in a bottle of southern comfort and i haven't tasted it yet <laughs> so that would be one to uh taste wouldn't it mm, that would be one to have a go at at christmas now then lucky charms master temple's gone from master temple's treasures and painting with master temple don't forget and we've got little p and we've got little p's girlfriend uh candy floss and little p came from purple fairy happy christmas purple fairy mm -hmm. that's my best uh, I don't know. What, I don't know what you call these. I don't know what's politically correct. Um, I knew them as something when we were young, but I'm not allowed to, allowed, allowed to say that. I don't think. Okay, move on swiftly. And my lovely marker, so we know where we're putting the coins, and we don't go off piste. And I can't open these for love nor money. So out come the scissors. Let's get on. Mm -hmm. Now then, we know what we're after. Blessed Olympic would uh, go down a tree. That's not, is it? Straight, no, it's 1998. Oof, I just saw that eight on the end. Yeah, I thought I don't, I don't save them. I don't normally look for them. Um, but uh, I thought that was a signed uh, bunny then for a minute. Never found a, uh, well, I have, but not a coin tuber bunny. Uh, signed bunny, yes. 17 shields and 208 Britannias. I don't collect them, but they keep popping out. And that's because I've been looking for them for the Christmas Carol competition. There we are. This is a case in point. Look, I'm not looking for it. A 2008 Britannia. I'll put it down there, but it will go back in the bag. Give everybody a chance. I don't need to keep everything I find. 2015. There are two portraits, but there's also the um, Battle of Britain, don't forget. Or oh, 2015, see. Okay. Now then. That's a shield, all right? That's all right then. 15. I'm not going to check those. I'm not going to check those. I am not going to check those. Tiggy Winkle! Okay, our first proper commemorative out is Mrs. Tiggy Winkle, 2016. Not a keeper. Relatively. High vintage, mm -hmm. and uh, I have to say, not one of my favourite designs. Mm. 
too cuddly, but I know it's aimed at children, but hey. Oh, we've got a Johnson's uh, Dictionary. There we are. Not in very good condition, but hey, high mintage, don't keep it. Now then, Queen's uh, Memorial Coin with King Charles' effigy on the obverse. Okay, there we are. Not very tidy. I won't keep that. There are, there are still quite a lot of tidy ones coming out. And, well, I just like tidy coins, you know me. Check that date, 12. I'm looking for an NIFC for me. That would be my star find. Yeah, I'd really like that. Hey, hey. 17, Benjamin Bunny. Okay, not a rotation error. You can see flat bottom pointed top. Yay. I'm not saying nothing. 2012. Yay. I found a lot of Flopsy Bunny. Flopsy Bunny? Benjamin Bunnies over the uh, time I've been coin hunting. And uh, I saved them all up at the beginning and gave them to Cancer Research UK. And Cancer Research UK in Winchester. I haven't been in there for a long time. But um, I really need to get in there and, you know do something for the charity. I haven't done anything for a while, uh, uh, not for um, in the coin hunt tin world. I have been knitting doll's clothes for the charity shop up the road because I can sit and do that while I've got my feet up in the evening watching you coin tubers. Whee! Another King's Coronation coin. Mm -hmm. I have a feeling that's going to be high mintage. I have indeed found quite a few. Have you had trouble finding them? Oh, let me know in the comments below. It'll be interesting. Yeah. Okay. There we are. Got a few out of the first two bags, not bad. Okay. I like my machines, my machines, my coins sorted by a machine. I do. There we go. I was just checking the camera. <laughs> Had I press record? Ooh, 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 ooh. Yay. I think we all have that, that moment sometimes. Oh, have I done this? Oh, have I done that? Oh, there's another one. Look at that. King's Coronation coin. Okay. So you've got the date on the bottom there. And you've got a pointed top and a flat bottom. Something to remember when you're pulling out the king's, uh, the queen's uh, memorial coin. That says 50 pence, but um, it has a flat bottom and a pointed top, but it has a different obverse. You can see that one's got the date on the right and the one on the left hasn't. Just something to point out so that if you are checking them, uh, it helps out a little bit. They're getting ready for the Christmas carol competition. Ah, scary, scary. Oh, yeah. Oh, exciting. Scary. Yeah. It's going to be fun. Be there or be square. <laughs> oh, dear. Check that date. I can never remember the NIFC dates. I'll try and um, read it out, but I'm I'm so worried I'm going to give you a duff info that I tend not to. Oh, there's Jeremy Fisher. Mwah. Kissing him and throwing him back. There we go. 19. And last one. Okay, sorry guys and girls, got to get a tissue. <laughs> Sorry. 
colds hanging about, but it is only a cold and uh, we ain't complaining. I had my flu jab and COVID booster, so that's probably why it's just a mild cold. There we go. Okay. Something for the book. Oh, 2017. Another Benjamin Bunny. That's two to be signed and sent back. Lovely. Yeah. 19. Yes. 19. There is every chance, you know, uh, guys and girls, if you're a newbie, keep on looking, keep on spinning those coins, look at both sides, uh, because it's, uh, there's so many different ones, and there are error coins to find, there are all those 2019 re-releases for the uh, 50 years of the 50p, uh, six coins there to look out for. And there is a two 2015 effigies if you're looking for a date run. And Battle of Britain's 2015 as well. So, you know, you can... Oh, there's little things like the Tooth Fairy. Oh, do you know about the Tooth Fairy? Mm-hmm. I'll leave that one for you to do at your homework then. There we are. I purchased the Tooth Fairy from the Royal Mint. Okay. Oh, what have we got here? Yeah. Well, I'm going to spend the next half of the £250 coin hunt saying to uh, everybody out there who's supported the channel by watching, liking, ticking. You can be incognito. It does not worry me not. And um, I'm always appreciative uh, and uh, amazed that you want to watch my channel because I mess up easily. I can't remember diddly squat. But I have a lovely time and you, you've really made my year yet again. So thank you very much. And I really mean it. As heartfelt thank you. Um, your support has been absolutely fantastic. Some of you have been with me since the beginning. Which is great. Fantastic uh, support. Thank you. And really appreciate it and you other coin tubers out there um i don't think people who don't make videos <laughs> know how much we have to do <laughs> and uh, it takes a lot of work and dedication to get the coin uh, videos out and some of you who are doing it daily are absolutely fantastic great job you're doing um i'm afraid i can't show that amount of dedication because it takes me a lot longer to do things and uh, well no need to go into all that but definitely um, I do my best to keep up with you all and at Christmas time I will be binge watching those of you who I've either um, haven't seen for a while or I haven't uh, been able to watch the last few videos because of all the stuff I've been trying to do myself. So don't think I've abandoned you. Um, 2022, Pride, there we go. Um, I definitely haven't abandoned you. I have been snowed under and it's not easy doing everything else as well, is it? You know that. And I really appreciate it, so don't, as I say, don't think I've abandoned you. Just think, um, Tim Bob's <laughs> suffering. She's <laughs> got her hands full. Mm. Poor old bird, hey. <laughs> there we go. Anyway, so, who else? I'm not going to name the ch coin tubers and I'm not going to name followers because I would be so worried that I leave somebody out. But I've got a special thank you to say to um, uh, my friends at the Euro Change in Southampton, both branches, all the guys and girls 
all year now this year have been helping me out by um, looking through the till for any two euro collectibles and that collection is well I absolutely love it I really do it's fantastic and I couldn't have done it without their help mm. and even though you think oh it's going to cost you a fortune because you've got to pay well look at it this way at the moment uh, and I'm not saying the exact figure because it changes all the time on on the exchange rate or ish it's about 90 pence for one euro so one pound 80 gives me a two euro coin well i look at it in my head as two pound two euro equal that's fair enough um i'm happy with that and i'm not selling them because um they're going into my collection and because you know i'm not having to uh think about the well it's not they don't charge you a fee technically they don't charge you a fee so uh, there isn't any fees to pay so that's a good thing so when you look at collecting yes they, they're um they're actually uh, circulated coins and some of them are very well circulated because they've traveled some distance but that doesn't matter because it's a circulated coin that it's they're going in my collection no matter what and sorry i lost my mojo then um so i don't find it expensive compared to uh 50ps now if i had to uh buy 50ps well of course it's a different matter because bunks are a bit more expensive anyway but uh finding them like this 50p for 50p and the same with the um must be a pointy bottom one yet same with the two pound coins if you find them in a bag it's two pound for two pound 50p for 50p and i look at the two euros basically as a two euro coin for two pound mm -hmm. so there we are I, w I was trying to do coin hunts with the two euros but because they don't give out change they very rarely give out any um coins they just or take them in rather they give them out uh, because of the exchange rate sometimes isn't rounded up or down although they try to so they don't have many coins so that was difficult but they have been saving them so yes very good so watch has just gone off but i don't know why okay Oh, 2015. Oh. oh, we have found one. There we go. Another one which is uh, Glasgow Games 2014. Not a keeper, high mintage. Yeah. And to all the guys and girls at the banks, now we've given you a bit of a hard time, especially earlier on this year, because we were really having trouble getting the coins. Well, on the BBC News, I don't know if you heard, about a week ago, they were saying that uh, cash has come up, become a lot more popular again, which is always the way when times are hard, because uh, it just is, works out that way. So a huge thank you to you. We know it's not your fault if we can't get coins, uh, but it is frustrating. <laughs> but you know what I mean. A huge thank you to the service you've given to us this year um, and happy Christmas basically everybody have a fantastic time won't you? I won't be making any more uh, coin hunt videos before Christmas now I don't think so whenever you see this uh, the last one you'll see will be probably be the 23rd for the Christmas Carol competition a huge thank you to uh, M Clex and Mac and Moolah for putting that together. Uh, exciting, but nerve wracking. <laughs> it's not, is it? Come on, is it a six? I think that's a six. Mm. Don't look. That's the best way. Date. I've got to check that. Check those shields for an NIFC because I haven't found one yet, and I do want to find one. There we go. Uh, 
if it's one thing I don't like about 50 peas, it's dirty. <laughs> I'm not really a fuss pot, honestly. No. Something I've I've wanted to do and haven't had much time for this year was um, doing a bit of mudlarking. I absolutely love it. <laughs> I don't mind about getting, you know. I did sink a couple of times uh, and I thought, oh, hang on, this is dodgy. Uh, but you soon uh, keep yourself safe by, well, you do from the beginning anyway, because especially us, because we struggle, but making sure that you don't go anywhere where it's dangerous, just on the shoreline where the tide comes up. 2017 Shield, uh, low mintage. I'll put it down there, but it will go back so that somebody else can find it for their collection. Wow, Oop. little bit skinny, little bit skinny. Come on, come on, we need the Olympics. How many have I found lately? And how, how many, where did that come from? How many have I um, found and not, not for the book either? 2000, I know. Frustrating that is. Nineteen. One of these days I'm going to flip those nineteens over and I'm going to find a bit of treasure. Not that one though. Or that one. <laughs> Nineteen. Oh. Losing it, losing it. Date on that one. All right, there we go. Oh dear. I'm running out of space. The worst things about sealio sealy over bags, sealed bags, are that um, you have to keep getting, remember to get cash bags from the post office or the bank, and I keep forgetting. Hey. 19. What does that say? Might say 17 or 19. I think it's 19. Nineteen. Oh, what we've got here? Peter Rabbit. There we are. Run rabbit, run rabbit, 2017. That one's going back. Okay. And a few more bags to go. Keep it moving, moving, moving. You'll notice I don't generally fast forward my my um, coin hunt. Says a um, Queen's Memorial coin upside down. There we go. There we go. Okay, what's this one? Thirteen. Oh. So we have found another Johnson's Library. There it is. Oh. Shut rough. Throw the rubbish on the floor, really. Out of my way. Okay, 2022, Shield. No, oh, that's a bit grubby. Queen's Diamond Jubilee, 19. That's very shiny, hasn't been out long. There we go, come on now. What we got here? 2020. Hey, diversity. Built Britain. 
That was my very, very first big find. Uh -huh. Back in July, two and a half years ago. That is 19. And that is 15. Ooh. Yeah, so this July will be my third anniversary. If I'll make it that far. <laughs> mm. I don't mean me, I mean the coin hunting. <laughs> oh dear. Nineteen and fifteen. Very shiny fifteen. What is that? Fifteen. Nothing exciting, guys and girls, nothing exciting yet. But I do hope that we have a little bit of luck because we have been some time without any good luck. Although there is a little something on one of my videos this week. Artificial intelligence now. The machine's been sorting them out. <laughs> mm. Crazy. I've noticed people have been using on YouTube have been using some artificial intelligence. Uh, Seventeen. Yeah, Tom Kitten. Haven't seen him for a while. Is that 2008? But it's a shield, so it's the wrong one. There's another Peter Rabbit. Where did I put the other one? It was pretty poor condition, that other one, wasn't it? Right. 2012. 12. Oh. Running out of room. Oh, just knocked a pile of coins over. Whoops. Okay. Come on, you Olympics. 19. Hey. Peter Rabbit. Mm -hmm. That was a 2017 one. No, it's 16. The other one's 17 then. 19. Seen uh, Jemima Puddle Duck come out anywhere lately? 2020 Shield. I'm just going to keep a few of the best ones of those. It's just so I can make update runs. And if anybody needs one, I've got one. But I'm sure they're going to. Well, we've seen the bus bag, but I haven't seen any duck down this end yet. Only one more bag to go after this one. So uh, we're going to have to have some last bag luck by the look of it. Well, we're going to ask for some because, uh, as I say, we haven't had a book find since goodness knows when. What was the last one we had? You probably remember, I can't. The eight or three. Doesn't matter either way if it was an eight, it doesn't matter if I missed it because um, I just throw them back anyway. 19, 12, okay, 2001. We've just got one more bag to go, and then oh, sorry, Pete, hang on, 
bring us a bit of last bad luck, Pete. Go on. You know you want to. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> All right, kiss this one as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Jeremy Fisher. Kissing him and throwing him back. Unless, of course, it's an error. No, it's not. That's all right. Whew. Let me put them down with the other potters. Fifteen. To turn those fifteens, because we've got Battle of Britain, don't forget. Even those two portraits as well. So they turn up quite often, but Battle of Britain don't, doesn't turn up too often these days. And there's Paddington at St Paul's Cathedral. Another one going back. I'm going to keep those in sets of four. And, uh, there we are, and I don't, it, unless it was really tidy, then I would keep it. Well, keepers. Uh, that one, uh, maybe. I'm not going to keep that one. I've got to sign those and send the flopsies back. There we are. No rotation error on those. Turn over. Nope, they're fine. So I sign those, send them back. Keep all of those for a little while longer. That one is a little bit marked. If it cleans up, I'll keep it. If it doesn't, I won't. There we are. Well, there we are, guys and girls. Um, don't forget the 23rd and the Christmas Carol competition. And if I don't speak to you before then, have a wonderful Christmas. Um, stay well, uh, but have fun. I always say that. Stay safe, but have fun. See you in the new year. Woo, that's scary. Take care until the next one. Bye-bye.